Welcome back to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders across the digital infrastructure industry. I am Keely Dorian here at PTC, and I am joined now by Niraj Shah with IX Africa, winning the award, I might say, for dedication, as you've had some insane flight delays, but we're so happy that you're here and you made it. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Keely. It's, yeah, it's been, it's been actually very, very difficult to get you, but it was fine. I mean, you know, 36 hours flying, flight cancellations, but I'm here. It's the dedication. And yeah, you know, it's, it's the conference to be at. As it well, so. is the conference to be at. You definitely don't want to miss it. And we're so happy to have you joining us once again on JSA TV. Well, for, for those who don't know, do you want to just give us a quick overview of IX Africa? Of course, sure. doing um, a lot with um, in, in East Africa. When it, well, you'll describe it better than me. So yeah. I'll let you go. <laughs> no, thanks. So we've, we've gained a lot of momentum. Uh, you know, we started about two years ago and we had the first... Uh, campus built for the first building for the first campus, uh, which is four and a half megawatts of IT power, which is now live. But we intend going to 22 and a half megawatts. We are actually the first hyperscale data center in East and Central Africa. And we've actually set the trend. Now, quite a few of the competitions now looking at, you know, getting that attraction together and building. So, but we are, we're a couple of years ahead. We're actually going to the next step of getting a second campus done, which is about 30 kilometers away from where we are, which kind of suits what the hyperscalers would like in terms of redundancy. Um, so yeah, we are, we're actually quite uh, happy with the progress we've made. Yeah. And now that we are live with lots, lots and lots of connectivity providers coming in, IXPs have come in, we brought in Lynx Nairobi into Nairobi, called Lynx Nairobi. And now Lynx will obviously spread their wings as well amongst Kenyan uh, data centers. But you know, clearly we are the guys who, who brought brought them in and they're doing a lot with us and obviously it's going to really boost the whole connectivity hub element of Kenya. So yeah, that is the plan and we're forging ahead. Yeah, doing such great work and in a, a, a big market that's coming onto the scene. So let's talk about sustainability. I know that is a very key yeah. pillar for you as you continue to grow the company. Absolutely. And one of the benefits, and I, I think I mentioned a couple of times that Kenya is actually very green. It's actually 93% renewable energy. But the beauty of it is it's uh, actually uh, hydroelectric and geothermal, as well as wind and solar. So it's actually got all elements coming in now. And wind uh, is taking a very, very big factor as well. So when one of the key requirements when we talk to the hypers is how sustainable are you? So our entire data center is powered by renewable energy. And the fact that we also have this Keep It Africa uh, theme that we go with, mm -hmm. we make sure that we are not really spreading our carbon footprint in a big way. So everything's locally, uh, you know, we try and get everything locally as much as we can. We make sure we have the companies that support us, that they have their agencies in Kenya itself or in the region to make sure that there is no downtime from them. So very strict on how we're doing all of this. Yeah. So let's talk about, you You mentioned some growth plans already with uh, looking at a second campus yeah. and we're talking about sustainability. So as you continue to grow, of course, data centers need a lot of power, which is not always as sustainable as we would like it to be. So how are you looking at that growth and how do you plan to continue to be sustainable as you grow? Yeah, so there are a couple of things that are happening in Kenya, particularly is the fact that it's renewable, no doubt, 93%. But there's a lot of uh, incentive to actually generate your own power as you go along. At some point, they will do wheeling where you will be able to actually uh, sell your power. That's more than that you may require onto the grid. Mm -hmm. So solar is obviously one element that uh, a lot of the companies would look at. It's a lot more in the manufacturing side of the sector, right? But from a data setting perspective, with 22 and a half megawatts, you need a lot of power. So there are ways and means of how we will actually try and minimize what we would use by, say, solar in terms of our administrative use, right? A megawatt or two megawatts. But as we go to 22 and a half, no doubt we're, uh, we're actually um, going to be using the, the grid power, which is renewable. But there are lots of other innovations that are coming in. Now there's biodiesel that you can use for your redundancy generators. But you can also, there is a now a movement to actually start generating green hydrogen. So that's still like in the making, but it's a big possibility. What you need for that is a lot of hydroelectric. So more rivers, more water is required. And it's generated through, it's, I mean, in a basic way, it's ele electrolysis that, you, that you'd use to generate green hydrogen. So in essence, Kenya has got a lot of potential to generate different renewable energy. And that's where we're going to try and tap into all of this and then perhaps 
as we, time goes by with the land that we have acquired we've acquired more land uh, um, further further I think it's further north actually from where we are and that's 11 acres which also has the possibility of wind and also you know generating at a small level hydroelectric so yeah you know uh, we're, we're looking at sustainability and power in a big way that is the name of the game yeah. which is the other thing that you know when you get into AI there's a huge demand for power right and you want that power to be green so we're already gearing up towards that in what, whatever we're doing so you know we're, we're a couple of years ahead of what we want to what, what we will probably see happening so we're already planning for that yeah gearing up. A lot of exciting things yeah. to come, it sounds like. So yeah. definitely not slowing down no. anytime soon at over at IX Africa. Is there anything else that you want our viewers to know about? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, you know, uh, we're based out of Nairobi in Kenya, which is the capital city. And it's actually a market. You mentioned that. But Kenya, well, Nairobi serves up to 400 million people in different countries from the East African side. So it's a huge, it's a massive market. And I think now with the hypercloud um coming in, they're looking at these markets. So, uh, yeah, we're ready. And I think they've come in. We've had a couple of hypers come in and have a look at what we have. And they're well impressed with what we've built, especially to see something that big, that developed in Kenya. Uh, mostly they're all small data centers now. Yeah. So, so, yeah, uh, we're, we're ready. And come on in. It's exciting stuff. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for stopping by JSA TV during your brief time here at PTC. I hope you get to enjoy the rest of the show and have a really productive meeting uh, meeting schedule ahead. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Keely. It was great to be here. Thank you. Thank you again for joining us. And thanks to our viewers for tuning in. Stay connected.